Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. In the same bombshell report that accused top CBS executive Le Moonves of sexual misconduct, the New Yorker piece, written by Ronan Farrow, alleges that the former chairman of CBS News and current executive producer of 60 Minutes, Jeff Fager, fostered harassment in the division. According to Farrow, past and present employees told him that Fager allowed harassment at CBS News. It's top down, this culture of older men who have all this power and you are nothing, one veteran producer alleged to Farrow. The company is shielding lots of bad behavior. Half a dozen staffers claimed to Farrow that Fager would become intoxicated at company parties and start touching people. It was always, let's go say hello to Jeff, cause you have to pay homage to him, but let's do it early in the evening, before he starts getting really handsy, a former employee told Farrow. One time, Fager allegedly made drunken advances toward an associate producer, making comments on her breasts and becoming belligerent when she rejected him. There were reportedly several employees present. For the outlet, Fager denied the allegations, claiming that they never happened. In addition, Fager allegedly protected men, including individuals who reported to him, who were accused of misconduct. According to people who were told, during one incident, senior producer Vicky Gordon alleged that fellow senior producer Michael Radetsky threatened to throw furniture at her and twisted her arm behind her back, which caused her to scream. The outlet states that Radetsky claimed the allegations were fabricated. According to Farrow, sources told him that Fager not only instructed Gordon not to contact human resources, saying that he would talk to Radetsky himself, he asked Gordon to apologize to Radetsky to diminish any conflict in the office. Fager also denied this, claiming I have never discouraged anyone from going to H.R. Another source told Farrow that Fager is an enabler of this madman culture at 60 minutes.